Hi, I'm KLEL and I'm here to give you an introduction to Pocket Legends, so let's get started. Your first important decision is to choose your character's class. Archers do the most damage, so they're great if you like to clear through enemies quickly. Enchantresses can deal decent damage, but they're also the only class that can heal, revive or bless your teammates, so they're a good choice if you like to look out for other players. Warriors are designed to survive a lot of damage and draw enemies away from teammates, so they're great if you're not afraid to charge ahead and be the first to attack. You start out in the tutorial area. To move, just tap where you want to go, or use the joystick in the upper left. Swipe left or right to rotate the camera angle. Right away you're gonna see a character with an exclamation point above them. That means they have a quest for you. Tap him to take the quest. Further on you'll find a character with a yellow question mark above his head. That means you can tap on him to turn in the quest. To fight, move near an enemy, then tap auto-attack, and the game will choose an enemy for you, and automatically attack it until it dies. Or, if you want to attack a different enemy, just tap on it. After you play for a while, you're gonna get skills, which show up on the right, and you can tap on them to use them in combat. As you play, you should watch your health and mana bars, which are in the top left corner. You need mana to use skills, and you need to keep your health above zero to stay alive. But don't worry, even if you die, it's not a big deal, you just respawn at the beginning of the map. You regenerate a bit of mana and health automatically, but when you're starting out, it's at a very slow rate, so you'll want to use health and mana potions instead. One way to buy these is from the store in the menu. To get there, tap the stack of platinum coins at the bottom of the screen, then tap potions. When you finish the tutorial, a magic portal appears. Magic portals always take you to your next quest. This one is going to take you to the first town in the game, Forest Haven. Here, there are two important things you'll be visiting a lot. First, if you face the magic mirror, turn left, and go all the way to the end, you'll find a potion store run by Ali the Enchantress. She sells potions in bulk at better prices, so once you have enough gold, be sure to buy your potions from her. Another important character in Forest Haven is Amira. To find her, turn around from LED Enchantress and take the first left. Amira can stash items and gold for you, and if you ever create another character, you can use the stash to move stuff between your characters. Back in the main area of town, there's another magic portal, and as with all magic portals, you can use it to get to your next quest. Another way to get to your next quest is to tap on your name, and then tap the first icon to bring up the menu screen. Then tap the Quests tab. From there, select the quest and tap Go To, and you'll be taken to the dungeon for that quest. This screen will also give you hints sometimes about where to go next, so be sure to check it if you're stuck. Another way to get around is using the world map, which you can find by tapping on your name in the upper left, and then the globe icon. From there, you can click Join Game to search for an existing game to join. Or if you want to create a new game, click Host Game and select the dungeon. When you're just starting out, you'll notice that some of the higher level campaigns are locked. That's because you have to buy them with Platinum, which is a special currency that you can either buy with real money or earn by completing special offers. You go to the in-game store to buy Platinum, and that's also where you can spend it on dungeon packs or special items and customizations for your character, like hats or extra inventory slots. Now, what really makes Pocket Legends fun is that it's a multiplayer game, and at some point you'll want to talk to the other players. You can say something to everyone in the current town or dungeon by tapping the chat balloon at the bottom of the screen. Or if you want to say something to just one player, select the player first by tapping on his character if you're in a town, or by tapping on their name in the upper left if you're in a dungeon, and then tap message. You can also trade items, gold and potions with another player. To do this, select the player and then tap the trade tab. They'll get a message that you want to trade with them. If they also open the trade window, you can each put up things to exchange. If you are happy with what the other player offers, tap on the square and confirm that you accept their offer. But if you don't want to go through with a trade, click on the arrow in the top left corner to leave the trade window. Now, say you're in a dungeon and you meet someone with whom you'd like to play again. You can select them and tap Add Friend, and if they accept, their name will appear under your Friends tab, and you'll be able to see when they are online and join their games, or invite them to join yours. As you play, you get experience points, and eventually you level up. Each time this happens, you get 5 attribute points and 1 skill point, which you spend by going into the character screen from the menu. Press Update Stats to allocate your attribute points between Intelligence, Dexterity and Strength. Tap the Skills tab to allocate your skill point. You can put up to 5 points in each skill. Your character wears several pieces of gear, which you can see under the Inventory tab. You can get more gear from stores or from enemies. As you level up, you'll be able to wear better gear, so be sure to come back to your inventory and equip it. Here's a bonus tip for watching. Try swiping two or three fingers across the screen and see what happens. And now you're ready to get started, so go out there and don't be afraid to just explore the world and try out new things. 
have fun and hope to see you in game.